नमस्ते एंड वेलकम टू एट अनादर एपिसोड ऑफ प्लाटर 2.0 इन दिस सीरीज ऑफ शॉर्ट वीडियोस वी आर लर्निंग द लेटेस्ट फीचर्स ऑफ प्लाटर 2.0 एंड इन दिस पार्ट वी आर गोइंग टू लुक एट द डेस्कटॉप प्लेटफॉर्म सो फ्रॉम प्लाटर 2.0 इवन द डेस्कटॉप प्लेटफॉर्म्स और डेस्कटॉप प्लेटफॉर्म टारगेट्स आर अवेलेबल इन द स्टेबल चैनल but they are in the early release flag they are not stable yet but we can simply use the stable channel to create and test our desktop applications as well if you have freshly installed flutter 2.0 you will not see the desktop channel enabled by default we can verify that by running flutter devices so right now if we run flutter devices we see only chrome not the linux desktop so in order to enable the desktop platform you need to run flutter config command so flutter config enable linux desktop so if you are on windows use enable windows desktop and if you are on mac os use enable mac os desktop once you do this you see that setting enable linux desktop value to true you might need to restart any open editors but we don't have any open editors that's fine so right now if we run flutter devices now we see we have two connected devices linux and chrome now if we create a new project and let me open it now in the list of our project folder we see android ios web and as well linux and we can see in the list of devices we can use linux chrome or we can start our emulator so let us run in the desktop platform so running in desktop platform again is no different than running in any other platform so when the desktop is selected linux for me for you it might be mac or windows you can hit f5 so this is the first time i'm building for linux so it will download the linux build tools it might take few few seconds once it's finished download it will try to build and right now for me it's the first time so it could not find the cmake so i can install cmake let's install cmake if you are on windows or mac os and if you follow through the desktop setup you can find all those informations what package is required so i can run plotter doctor to see if linux platform is ready or if we need any other packages so in linux we need ninja is required for linux development so i can use ninja build okay i can't find ninja build let's use let's see ninja okay it's called ninja in here so apply okay it's installed let's see now again let's run plot adapter now linux tool chain is also ready now i can run it for linux using f5 again it should build and open my linux application again it's the same counter application that we see in the mobile or web we can run it 
let me make this smaller and we can make changes and see with hot restart so again in desktop platform we don't have hot reload So if I save, it will hot. Okay, let's see. I think we have hot reload. That's great. We don't need to hot restart. That's that's good. See, we can see our state is preserved. So we can now target desktop platform as well from flutter stable channel we don't need to install separate version of flutter or dev or master channel just to test whether or not our application runs on desktop breaking many other things so we can run same application we can choose to run on chrome and as well as android and ios devices that we already know and it works flawless so this is another feature that landed in Flutter 2.0 that is desktop support on the stable channel though it's in early release flag not ready for production or not recommended for production. Thank you everyone for watching this tutorial. See you again in the next episode with some other features of Flutter 2.0.